Why a duck? Logan's visit to the island of Sodor was coming to an end. The fat controller soon came to see him. We shall miss you, he said, but you are doing well despite that despite you were being chased by a lorry for wanting her ball for wanting its ball back. I'm sorry, sir, said Logan. I it's all right, interrupted the fat controller, smiling. A mistake any engine could make, he said. Tomorrow, I would like you to go. I would like you to go to the Harwick Blantyne to help Mushi and Ryan out, he said. Yes, sir, replied Logan happily. The next morning, Logan woke up with enthusiasm. And he, w and he puffed out of the sheds, whistling goodbye. Thomas, Toby and Percy were sorry to see him go. A few moments later, Logan had finally arrived at Harwick. Both Mushi and Ryan made him feel welcome. He shunted trucks in the yards with Mushi. And Ryan had left him... And Ryan had left him took, cho took charge of the front of the train. Logan loved it and was finding it different compared to the, to the seasides of the mainland. The next day he was ready for real work. And, so and soon he met Rex, Bert and Mike who were delighted to be showing off their station to a new engine. Later, Logan puffed into the station docks. He was to collect some fruits, fruit and vegetables to be taken to Wellsworth Station. Logan was coupled up, but he, but he found the trucks hard to move. He pulled so hard, he pulled so hard that he had, that he had broken free broken free and heard a cracking noise. His driver stopped and looked. And looked. The cable to the truck, the cable to the couplings broke, he said. Now what do we do? Asked the, fi asked the fireman. There, they spotted Bert, who watched with interest. I once pulled a tr train that needs, that needs being glued up to, he, he said, and perhaps and perhaps, perhaps, interrupted the driver, we need something different more than glue. Then they spotted a signal, then they spotted so, a piece of signal wire at the, at the station steps. We'll use that, in, we'll use that instead, said the driver. And what, and why would that happen, interrupted the, fi interrupted the fireman. The driver set off and asked the station master, and asked the station master, what's a good idea, he said, I'll tell, I'll let the signal man know what's going on, and then you can pull your train. I'll try, replied Logan happily. A short while after, they've asked Bert to take the, the first truck to the station. Bert was coupled to the first truck, and he steamed off. Then Logan had to do the rest. He buffered up to the train, and he s and the driver and fireman fa fastened the fastened the wire between the between one of the one of the tr trains and Logan. And Logan steamed off carefully. He knew he had to be careful, and he didn't want to let the let the hungry passengers down. Moments after, Bert raced, raced past by. He whistled well. He whistled well done, and Logan whistled whistled back, saying thank you to Bert for for helping him out. Logan knew he had to take it steady and carefully. The wire was almost was almost about to tore the two apart, but Logan didn't care. At last, he had reached Wellsworth Station, where the fat controller was waiting. Well done, Logan, he said. I, looks like I, I was very proud to have 
an engine like you do all the jobs my engines could not, she said. You have been very splendid all the, these past few days. That I'm sorry to see, that I am sorry to see you leave now. I'll come back eventually again some day, said Logan. If I feel like it, of course, said the fat controller. Soon, soon Logan's, soon Logan's pride was over. Soon Logan's pride. Pride was overheard by the by the whistles goodbye from from Thomas and Percy and and Toby ringing his bell for goodbye. Logan knew they would. Logan Logan knew what to say, but he kept. But he left the station. But then he left the station, shouting, shouting, "I wish I'd like to stay." He shouted. He shouted to he shouted to Thomas, Toby and Percy, but the but I still have to go home, she said. With that he went racing he went racing through the countryside and disappeared into a tunnel.